teach or dictate? You better stay tuned if you want to find out. Welcome to Animated Christians. My name is Zeke Matthew. And if you want to learn more about Animated Christians, you can click the video card above or you can read the text next to me. Pause the video and then we will get started. Now I'm not saying all churches or all pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. I'm sure you have heard that the pastor says he's teaching, but is that true? Let's find out. So in Colossians chapter 2 verses 16 through 17 says, Don't let anyone stand in judgment over you and dictate what you should eat or drink, what festivals you should celebrate, or how you should observe a new moon or Sabbath days. All these are only a shadow of what shall come. The reality, the core, the import is found in the anointed one. I chose this verse because it says not to dictate to the people, but what is dictating? A definition of dictating is to give orders. Now dictating is giving orders to someone else to do a particular job, and I will probably get some heat for saying this, but pastors actually dictate what the congregation of the church should do, how they should act, what the Bible says, etc. A good example is at the end of every service, you will hear a pastor say, bring people to church after saying, preach the gospel to the world. Notice the last sentence here is bring people to church is a command for you to bring someone to that church so they can increase in number. The thing is, that's not in the Bible. Jesus did say preach the gospel to the world, but did not say bring people to church. Now that we understand what dictating is, let's see what teaching is. The definition of teaching is show or explain to someone how to do something. Teaching is not one man dictating to you what you should do, but rather it's more of a group of people learning from one another. In other words, you will still have a leader with knowledge of the subject to help explain something more clearly, but you let people interact and interpret what you are teaching because everyone learns differently and you may learn something new in the process. So what does that make me then? Am I dictating or am I teaching? I would like to say that I am teaching because I am sharing knowledge of what I have learned from scriptures and I hope you learn something as well. Can I be wrong? Sure. Let's have a discussion about it in the comments below. In Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17 says, In the same way that iron sharpens iron, a person sharpens the character of his friend. So let's sharpen one another in the church and not dictate how we should go, but follow God's path from learning from one another. So I hope this helps explain the differences between teaching versus dictating and join me next Friday where we will discuss idols in the church and never forget animated Christians is just for you.